hey, come on, let's do a holiday grocery haul. Okay, so I got home and I decided that, hey, I bought so many things that I should probably do a grocery haul and show you the stuff that I got before I put it away. So here I brought it to the bedroom where the camera is, even though I'm in the dark, kind of, but you know, it's cozy, it's Christmas time, I've decorated a little bit. I've had, I had my lights out and everything. I, intended to make lots of other videos. I need to do a what happened after uh, doing that 10,000 calorie, 100,000? 10,000 calorie challenge. That was a nightmare. So this is kind of like a cheat and I guess I am having residual kind of like sugar cravings from doing that. Every time I have sugar, I get off the keto stuff that I do. I don't know. Apparently, I've been watching some videos on YouTube, and apparently restricting your food and restricting the stuff that you eat is an eating disorder. But I guess maybe it is. I don't think that this lighting looks good. I don't know what I'm... Maybe I should even shut this off. So at least I don't have... I still have a... The glare is coming from over there, not from there. Anyway, I made myself really sick. I don't know what the difference is between what I was eating in that. As opposed, like I've eaten so many pies. I guess it was it was because I didn't do all carb sugar based. But I, I've been known to eat a lot of fat too. I eat jars of nut butters all the time. I think it was the chips. Pork rinds. Ten bags of pork rinds. Speaking of nut butter, I, I dip these in nut butters. I dip them in cream cheese. I dip them in cottage cheese. I melt cheese on them. That's the thing that I mostly do is melt cheese on them. So I get all kinds of those. Lots of cucumbers. Cucumbers, I, I saw a Facebook thing, how healthy they are and all these things, and it was great, and I'm happy. And I've been using them as pre-workouts kind of thing. They actually do give me energy, and so I have one before I start doing exercises, and plus at night when I want a little snack, I can chop one up, put apple cider vinegar on it, and... It's satisfying. Oh, and speaking of other little snacks, these I got at the dollar store. So this is another sugary thing. I mean, there's no sugar in it, but it's roasted chestnuts. So I guess they cut caramelize a little bit because they're pretty sweet. I remember giving my brother some of these once and he spit it out. He thought it tasted so horrible, but they're organic and they're from the dollar store. And I like them as a snack. And what I like to do is I like to put one, and then these are portion controlled because once you know how hard. I think this is probably if you're on keto, this is all of the carbohydrates you can have for one day. I think I looked it up like that. It was something ridiculous like that. So you now I bought this. Maybe I can show you that right now. Uh, one, pa one package, 75 grams, 37 grams of fat. Uh, Calories, 460 calories. Where are the carbohydrates? Carbohydrates, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, there are 16 grams. Okay, so it's half. I think you're allowed to have 30 grams of carbohydrates when you're on keto. So I mean, it's such a tiny bag. But what I like to do, put these in a bowl together, mix them around with apple cider vinegar again, and put sprinkle some sea salt on them. These are have nothing on them. They're un. They're natural. They're not even roasted. There's this whole flash thing about taking them over the border. It's really complicated. Anyway, for the most part, I guess they're raw. So that's what I like to choose in an almond. And these are organic and roasted. Nothing on them, just chestnuts. So I mean, my cheats here are pretty good. You're going to see that. My, my cheats are pretty pathetic, which is also fun. So I got six of each of those. 
which is only six snacks. So that's not that's not the best for my time. Can I say I got ten bags of oats? Okay, let's see what's in here. I went big on produce. I usually don't buy this much produce. I bought tomatoes because I had a coupon, even though I have jars of salsa. And these are kind of overripe, but I like tomatoes. So I think I'm gonna make some cucumber tomato salads um, and probably eat up all those tomatoes really quickly because they seem to be overripe. These pears were on sale, so I bought them. I love pears. And then it started me thinking, that's the first thing that I saw, I think, when I went to the store. And then it made me feel all Christmassy and holiday-y. So then I went a little crazy on that. Green apples. I bought those initially. Actually, I bought these before I saw the pears. And they're supposed to be, you know, green apples aren't as sweet as, and that was going to be my cheat to have that. And I kind of, I don't know, I really want to be a fruititarian. And this could be my whole meal for the whole day, maybe. I don't know, is that, maybe, maybe that's not, maybe that's, I don't know if that's satisfying. Anyway, I thought I'm going to put nut butter on this too, maybe, or just sprinkle cinnamon on it. Just even apple by itself. I love apples. Brita filters, because the water is city water. Oh, here's another little, I got popcorn. I really like popcorn, but I have been avoiding it because of, I don't know, sometimes keto people say you can eat popcorn or something, or you can have a certain amount of it. Uh, but again, I don't know if I'm being keto right now, and I have been, because of my cucumbers, I have been working out, so I've been doing exercises. I have been hanging from that thing and doing crunches. I'm going to start making popcorn, though, again. It's very Christmassy, you know, like stringing it up and putting it on the tree that I'm not going to do. Goat cheese was on sale, and I got the full fat one, not the skin fat, because I believe in good fats. And goat cheese is supposed to be one of the best keto cheeses anyway, so. And they were on sale. And there's another one in here. And I love them, and I love to eat them with things like figs. So figs, again, are very Christmassy, and I saw them, and I thought, if I'm going all crazy, I'll just get some figs, too. So I bought figs, and I love, again, these taste delicious with nut butter on it. Again, they taste delicious with cinnamon on them. I can grab one and just have it as a snack and love it. And I do like that they're portion controlled, too, because I'll just, I don't know if that's way too much calories here. You can look at it and tell me. But I will eat one of those, of course, in one sitting. Oh, and did I say that? They taste delicious together, too. That is such a Christmas thing. You got your goat cheese and your figs, you get yourself cheese butter, cut up an apple on it. And then non-organic cottage cheese. But hey, look at that. It says simple with a check mark. And it is simple. Oh, that's something else I want to say. The salt in this is even sea salt. So I was like so happy with just goat milk, sea salt, microbial enzymes. And that might be it. I can't see. Maybe I should look. Uh, goat cheese, sea salt, bacterial culture, milk, microbial enzymes. Yeah. So. Anyway, this is just simple cottage cheese, 2%. That's the closest to whole milk because, yeah, I don't know why. The dairy people take out the fat and they put the fat back in. What's best is, and I say this for eggs too, for people who eat egg whites, even though I'm no doctor, but God put all that stuff together on purpose to eat together. It's supposed to be together. Eat the whole egg, the yolk, and the white. They're supposed, they work in correlation together. I even heard, read, and saw some uh, talk on that. And if you eat just whites, they will deplete the, the uh, whatever's in the yolk. So you need to, from your body, instead of using the yolk that came with the white. And I got seven of those. So that was my grocery haul. 
How long was I speaking for? Is this a full video? This is a full video. We're good. I bought some other stuff too, but that's on the other channel probably for toy hauls, diorama hauls. I gotta go put this stuff in the fridge. Is this really all I got? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Have to review those puppies.